Yeah. Well, we're live now, so as long as we talk about how fabulous I am, so it'll be great. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right. And we are good. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's just bring all of this up online. How are we this morning, ladies and possible gentlemen? Token, ah, token males, token husbands. Are we all good? I hope so. Um, I need a piece of... Good morning, Amanda. How are you, sweetheart? Okay, so happy Saturday, everyone. I hope you are all well this morning, feeling good and wonderful and all of the things. Good morning, Karen. I am going to... Paper Saturday. Paper Saturday. Yes, it is Paper Saturday. It is all about patterned paper today. So what does that mean? That means 15% off paper collection. Oh, and packs. Plus 30%. Oh, yeah, and plus, there's like another, don't forget about the 30% category, because there's more papers already marked down by 30% in the 30% category too. So, um, yeah, it's all, it's all happy days. So, this morning, I'm going to be doing a scrapbook page using AB Studio's new collections. Um, Oh, just got a notification. Do I want to watch this on my on the big screen? Oh, hell no. No one needs my voice that big on TV. There we go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are going to do a scrapbook page using the new AB Studios papers, which all I have done is taken them out of the packet and haven't looked at them yet. Um, but if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, and I shall write that down on another piece of paper here. Here we go. We go with www.nataliemay.com.au. Right. My scribbly handwriting. Um, yeah, so we are going to, yeah, 15% off today for paper collections. Now, as previously uh, where I've been banging on about it a bit, the no judgment postage is all about looking after you guys. It's all about looking after you and making sure that you get good value for money from me. So if you want to add to your order that you have placed over the last two days, then um, all you need to do is select no judgment at the checkout and we will put all your orders together. So that means that you will uh, only pay a $12.50 postage one time and then we put all your orders together. Now it also means though, there is a three kilogram weight limit. So if your order comes in at five kilos or three and a half kilos, I'm just gonna flick you a little invoice for the, um, for the extra, which obviously you can understand, uh, I need to you know, pay for shipping still, but I'm more than happy to put them all together. So if you order 32 packets of paper today, expect a little invoice for me just for the balance um but i am full transparency tell it how it is and make sure that you are fully aware of how things work here at nataliemay.com.au so let's do this the new ab studios papers came in on oh, i don't know wednesday night thursday morning something along those lines now these papers are just gorgeous uh, they are the brand new release. I think there was about six new lots of papers that came in. This collection is called Unexpected. All I've done is taken them out of the packets. Haven't done any more than that. So let's have a bit of a flick through and then I will choose one to create with today. Oh, I haven't turned the comments on. <laughs> I don't know who's talking to me. There we go. Um, okay. 
so unexpected so I love that these are a really nice heavy duty paper and they are a they're excellent for adding mixed media to they're going to cut out beautifully and they're going to hold their shape on the page so the back of the um, the title page the front page has got fussy cutting elements it's a lovely pink mauve blush pink sort of style Ooh, that's nice. That's a shabby chic sort of... It's a real shabby chic sort of range. There you go. Uh, so there we go. This one is called My Name. And that's got like a crocheted sort of knitted piece on the back, which I'm not a, not a lover of, by the way, but I like the other side. Uh, Flower Boogie. <laughs> that's named well. And that's really awesome. That's got lots of really cool little elements and a beautiful aqua. Uh, then lots of fussy cutting on that side. Holy moly. All right. This one's called Flowerful Day with these gorgeous doors with some uh, strips on that side. This one's really nice. Favorite elements. Lots of fussy cutting here with kind of like a, a glitter on that side. Um, a glitter print, not an actual glitter. Very pleasant. With a bold print. Love someone. With that hexagon there with a little bit of gold through it and then the tag and sentiment sheet as well with a bold on the back so that one's really pretty so that collection is called unexpected then this next collection is called a beautiful noise so this is a much this is full of roses and more rich heartier tones so the back of this page has got some lovely frames and then that's that's really pretty. That one is called A Beautiful Noise. So, hey, I could just get away with sticking a photo smack bang in the middle. Not that one. Anyway, scrapbook page done. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Look at the... Can you see how bold that is? Those two are just stunning together. That's called A Woman's Worth. It's deep for a Saturday morning, isn't it? A New Day, that's quite a nice bold print. And that's got your fussy cutting elements on the other side. This one is called Speechless, this paper. Oh, that's really pretty. On the reverse side, the tag sheet. Oh, that's lovely. I reckon I could do a card kit out of this collection. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what was on the back of that? Hang on. A scripty sort of lace style. This one is called Queen of the Field. So all of these papers are 15% off. And this is a paper collection from AB Studios. So uh, a beautiful noise is the range. That's gorgeous. And some beautiful elements. Roses on that side. Unbreakable. This one has got some really fine bird images on it. That's nice. And wow. Big punchy roses on the other side. I reckon I would struggle to cut this one up, actually. There's some gorgeous prints. And there's some fussy cutting on that side. So I just need to choose which one I am going to use today. What's it going to be? Um, I'm going to go with the first one that I showed you. All right. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to use the Unexpected Collection. Let's do that. So they are all 15% off while stocks last. I will be doing another order of AB Studios papers, probably Monday, because uh, I have sold out of some already. But um, if there is, yeah, keep an eye out for when they come in and we will uh, pop you in the order book. All right, let's do this. So how do I start a scrapbook page when my creativity is not at its best? I go to, oh, Macy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I go to pagemaps.com. Pagemaps.com is going to give me a design to work with. It is going to give me a, a plan. And this is my super easy go-to. So from here... What I love about these, and this is something that has been around for years and years and years, it is excellent because it shows you where to put all of the papers. 
So you can see here on this one, you need to put a paper in the background. And this is an example, uh, and there'll be a paper here. It tells you that I need to cut a piece to go in the background, and that's the example there. It tells me I need to put a piece down this here, this area, and then you can see here where this person has done that as an example. It says that this is the area where my photo has to be. So there's the photos popped there. And then it gives you a bit of an idea on your embellishments. So this one says an embellishment down here, an embellishment and a title up here, and some journaling or a subtitle in this area, which you can see those here and here. But this particular layout, they have altered it to change what suits. So this is um, from pagemaps.com. It is a free resource on the interwebs that you can look at at any time. So I'm going to use this for my inspiration today because my brain hasn't kicked in yet. Not even going to sugarcoat that. Okay, uh, for the background paper, I'm going to add a little mixed media in my project today. So I'm going to be using the Vicky Booten Foundations paper. Uh, this is also, for those Vicky Booten fans, this is also discounted. Uh, this is a heavy duty paper that is extremely difficult to get hold of at the moment, I've just discovered. Uh, but the Vicky Booten Foundation papers uh, online, you will find those under, I think, cardstock or other papers. Or if you just do a search for foundations, get onto it because I don't know when I'll be getting it back in again. It is a fantastic base for adding um, mixed media to your elements, okay? So that's the Vicky Booten Foundations white mixed media paper, and it is a 300 GSM. I could use any sort of paper for this, but that's what I wanna use here. Uh, photos today, I've got a couple of different photos here and I don't know which ones I'm gonna use just yet. I'm gonna start layering out my page first. So based on my page map, on my design, uh, I think I'm gonna use a pattern paper in this section here. And then this white bit here, I might add a little bit of mixed media with my foundations paper. So let's have a bit of a look through and see, have another look at this paper again and see how it's going to suit. This page I wanna pop aside because it's going to be the fussy cutting paper. Um, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. That's nice. Oh, let's be honest, nobody wants me to cut those flowers out live on Facebook. I can tell you right now. Louise, would you like to do that for me? Cut those out while I'm creating? I can do that for you if you need some. You're allowed to say no. It's fine. Okay. Let's no. Be... No. <laughs> no. It's a hard no. I like these elements. I want to use incorporate these somehow. So I'm going to pop those aside so I don't cut them up. I reckon I could probably get 10 layouts out of this kit, to be honest, people. I like that. I don't love green. Um, I love that. Hey, Louise, in that second or third drawer, yeah, can you pass me, nah, the next, like, the, not the fourth, the third. Oh, paper trimmer. Yeah, perfect. I wasn't going to use a paper trimmer. I was going to use some scissors, but here we go. Um, thank you. I'm going to use this one for my background. Let's get these babies out of the way. Well, maybe I'll use pink. Maybe I'll change my mind 17 times in the next five minutes. All right. Right, so keeping this here, in fact, I'm going to um, fold that over so you can't see that layout. And I'm going to work with just this gorgeous page map here. In fact, so that it doesn't float around, I will tape it, tape it down to the background so that it stays in the shot. There we go. Tape it down to my... Right. 
and let me show you how we are going to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I want to use, I'm going to cut the piece of paper for this section here. Now there's no measurements here, but I know that my background is going to be 12 by 12. So I'm going to go with a little pink. So first thing I'm going to do is cut off the barcode. And because I am a value for money sort of person, I'm going to cut the middle out of my piece of paper. So the way that I do this with my paper trimmer is, uh, this is just a Fiskars trimmer, but I'm going to cut, start cutting about an inch up from the bottom and stop an inch up from the top. Then I'm going to turn it and do the same thing. So then this way, I'm cutting the middle out of my piece of paper and I'm being a little bit frugal and I'm saving my paper for another piece, another element on my page or another project or a card. So I should be able to just pop out that piece of paper and I can use that on something else. And now I have a frame ready to go for my background, okay? Um, and it's all connected. But even if I had gone in on the side and cut in from that side, it would have been fine because I would have been able just to join it up and cover that up. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna cut my foundations paper to be a little bit bigger than that so that I can add my mixed media element. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to take this piece here that I have cut out and I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to mark that I need to cut it here and I need to cut it here. Simple. Because I want it to be a little bit bigger than my piece that I've cut out. Whoops. Oh no, and I just broke my blade, which is not ideal. But... Let's commit to it. You can tell that I need a new blade for my trimmer. Which, if you do need new blades for your trimmer, you will find them in the tools section on nataliemay.com. I stock the titanium Fiskars trimmer blades. Alright, so there we go. So that is going to sit there. Uh, this particular little layout, I don't know if you can see, but there is like a black border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another patterned paper underneath this one to create a little bit of a border. Okay. So where is my eraser that I had floating around here? Uh, here it is. I was a bit heavy with my lead pencil. So I just want to rub out my lead pencil mark. And I'm going to bring in this gorgeous blue. So to start with, I'm just going to jump straight in and go double sided tape on the back of my foundations paper. Um, double sided tape, I am, as most of you know, I am a lover of a good quality tape. Um, the, I, I tend to only use Express Graphics tape because it tears, it's an Australian brand and it's not a cheap and nasty adhesive out of China. Um, tomorrow, uh, about what time tomorrow? About lunchtime tomorrow, about 1.30. I'm going to be jumping back online and doing a Nat's favorite tools section. So I will be doing a, um, I'm going to show you all of my favorite tools and how to use them, show you some of the things that I love and that I use um, all the time. So that's happening tomorrow on live on Facebook at about 1.30 is the plan. Um, now, I want to put that smack bang in the middle and trim around it simply because if I take it right up to the edge, it's a bit dark up on one side and I want a little bit more blue than anything else. So now, 
I'm going to use my trimmer just to trim that back. Just so that it's got a nice little uh, frame all the way a around it. Just a, a touch of blue. And I'm only eyeballing it. Um, when I scrapbook, I am very much an eyeball person. I'm very much the person who goes, uh, you know, I'm creating, creating this for my memories. I'm not creating any of this for, for perfection. It's just paper. If it's not straight, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be getting a score out of 10. I'm not putting it generally most of the time out there for everyone to go, oh my God, she didn't cut that straight. What the hell? I doesn't bother me at all. Um, you can barely see that there is any blue there, but when we put it down on the page and in a moment when I add some more elements, the blue will be noticeable. Next thing I need to do is stick that down to my frame. So again, I'm going to run some tape down the side. Good morning, Lynn Simpson. I see you watching me there, my love. How are you? Lynn is um, from Interstate and Lynn has signed up to come and join us for our Creative Escape Retreat this year. So the Creative Escape Retreat is happening late May here in Adelaide and or well, it's actually ha happening in the Adelaide Hills. We have uh, hired a fantastic luxurious conference center and I will be uh, will be hosting a scrapbook retreat here and uh, have a fantastic three-day event so that starts on a Friday and goes through to a Sunday night and I cannot wait uh, there is lots of information about it online and with your customer orders we will be sending out a flyer about the retreat so for those of you who are interstate and are concerned about COVID and state interstate traveling etc etc then you will be um, there are some terms and conditions in regards to that and of course we are sympathetic to how that all happens but we cannot wait for the retreat um, I haven't planned yet but there will be classes happening there will be an online store on site there's going to be so much going on cannot wait so if you love a scrapbook retreat like we do then you can um, sign up we would love to have you and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is twin share. The cabins have individual bedrooms. So you won't... Um, hey, Louise, could you pass me some sticky tape, please? Just normal sticky tape. Sure. Um, you won't have privacy issues. If you want to bring a girlfriend, then go you. Absolutely. Get some friends together and have a weekend away. So while I've been doing this, you can see that um, what I've done is I've stuck that all down, but my tape was a bit thick, so my tape is showing on this side. So I'm just gonna cover that up with some sticky tape, just so that it doesn't stick to my desk while I am working. Um, so there you go. So yeah, so that's what the retreat is all about. So I'm really super excited about it being a luxury retreat. It is um, ca gorgeous cabins uh, up in the Adelaide Hills at Harndorf. And you can do day trips into Harndorf. You can go into Harndorf for your evening meal if you like. Uh, or you can go and hang out at the pub if you want to. But why would you? Because you're there to hang out with me. And make pretty things uh, but Louise and I cannot wait for that weekend we are super excited all right done not sticky anymore oh there we go so I have now created using my oh my god oh my god stop the presses Tim Holtz just liked a messy oh liked my post on Instagram Louise oh, he's done it again 
He's liked two of my posts on Instagram. <laughs> Sorry. A little excited. Oh, okay. Are you famous? Oh, I nearly swore. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's the little things. <laughs> okay. Back um, to you guys. Back, back to you. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, I'm totally sidetracked. What do you just, what do you like? I can't look because I haven't got my phone. Okay. Did you, did you just it just came up as a notification on my iPad. Did you just do a little wee? I did a little wee. I did a little excited wee. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So let's look at what we've got here. Let's compare it to the little page maps here on this side. Um, so this, what you're looking at here is the floral paper. Then this here is the white foundations paper. So I can tick that off. I've done that. I've done that. There's this black frame. <laughs> um, oh, ooh, Amanda, good idea. Um, the black frame here is the blue bit that you can barely see, but it'll work. Um, oh, so sorry, I have got a, like a 20 second delay, so I'm just seeing all your comments now. Um, so yes, I'm gonna have to screenshot that Tim, Tim Holtz liked my project. Anyway. Um, so what I want to do next is I'm going to work on my photo so that I can plan out the rest of my page. None of this is relevant unless you have a photograph. So I've just grabbed a couple of photos out of my stash and instead of having three small photographs, I'm going to change this layout up to go with one photo. Um, look, that's when I had hair. That's pre-cancer. What a great photo. Oh, that's nice. That could work. I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna use that photo of me just because it's something a little bit different and we tend to not scrapbook ourselves very often. So um, that back when I was young and gorgeous and hot, um, <laughs> not this morning, just saying. And I'm gonna trim it a little, just a smidgen. And then I'm going to mat that. So I need to mat it because it's going to need to have a frame to sit up on the page. And I've just got a piece of white cardstock here. That photo was taken, this photo is taken by the lovely Louise Nelson. And I suspect that was taken, oh, it's even got a date on the back. I wonder when that was. No, it doesn't have a date on the back. But uh, clearly not this year, because I had hair. And I was thin, and I had no wrinkles. No laugh lines. All right. Done. And done. Okie dokie. So, um, this is one of Natalie's favourite tools. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, having a hot flush again. All right, so matching that photo has made all the difference. It just creates that nice little frame and allows me to um, stick it down onto my page. So I can tick that off. I've done that section. Now I need to go through my papers here and have a quick look and go, right, I need to find a piece that I'm gonna run down here. What can I use? What colors do I want to pick up? Do I want something busy? Do I want something strong? Let's have a look and plan it out. That piece is too short and I don't love that piece. That could work. That's really quite nice. I could run that down. What's on the other side? The big bold flowers, maybe, maybe not. I don't wanna cut that up because I like those elements and I can use those elements. And the other side is too strong. So there's the thinking behind that. I could put a door behind it. That would work really quite well, actually. I do like that one. That one will work nice. And I don't want to cut up too much of the bottom because I want to use those buildings, but I could use the top. The top would look great. And I don't want to cut too much of that because there's some fussy cutting on the back of that. Or I could use these blue flowers. But what I've decided is I'm gonna go with this one here. 
going with this one, I'm just going to go with about a piece. You know, that kind of indicates four fat fingers in width. So I'm going to go with about a four fat finger width piece. Being aware that I, I want to keep the bottom here. I'm not too fussed about these envelopes and embellishments at the top. So I'm going to go with a piece to be about four inches. About four fat fingers. Push down and cut. And then I have saved the buildings on the back. Uh, that piece there. And I just need to now eyeball it. The picture shows me that I want to have a, a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom. So I need to cut it to be about there and I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to distress it a little to stick it down um, so I have to apologize if you can hear a little bit of uh, noise coming and background noise from the studio Trevor is in the shed today working on a car next to me so we've got a little bit of bonus noise going on um, love it Thanks, Trev. But that's all right. I'm just going to stick that down because it keeps moving. All right, so that is going to go there. So that's going to work just fine. And there's that noise in the background we were just talking about. Welcome to the suburbs, people. My photo is going to sit here. And my embellishments are going to sit around the page. Uh, I want to add a little bit more blue. Uh, before I do anything, I've got these little offcuts from my piece from underneath I'm going to pop that in under here now it doesn't show that on my project but that's okay because that's where you start to add a little bit of your own creativity I know guys yes you can use your own creativity it's a thing it's a possibility so I just want a little strip of that blue like that scissors how many times can I lose my scissors on my desk today all the times and then I can whack that down trim that edge off there and it gives me a little highlight of blue now since I've used the foundations paper in the background I want to add some a little mixed media into the background here so I'm going to grab my watercolor paints so these are my Ultra New watercolour paints. And I want to add a little bit of pink and perhaps a little purple and a little blue. So I'm just going to activate those with water. Let's get these babies out of the way. And first thing I want to do before I put any colour down to my page is test the colours. Never go straight onto your page because that will go very, very pear-shaped very quickly if I choose the wrong colour. So keeping in mind I've got these really light pinks, I want to be able to find something in those light pinks and light blues. So I've got some paper towel here, I've got an off-cut of my foundations paper, and I want to start having a look at making up some colour. So that's going to be significantly bright don't want it that bright that's going to be even more bright let's have a look at this one I could have gone through and dragged out all of my watercolors to find the right one but I'll just grab what I had in front of me if I dab a little color off while it's wet it tones them down a lot more that's actually really lovely and I probably need a bit of purple so I've got three different sorts of purples on here Oh, that's not purple. All right, so what I will do is that's what this area of your palette is for, is for mixing colours, for you to have a bit of a mix of the colours and go, right, now I can make up a colour that suits. So I'm going to grab a baby wipe and clean off a little from before an area from before the best that I can and now I can start mixing colors 
on my palette, the more water you use, the lighter the colour is going to be. I need to add a little bit of purple as well. And I'm starting to get something that I want to use a little bit more of. I've got something else that I've pre-mixed here earlier. I can grab a little bit of that. Pop a bit of that colour in. No, it stuffed that up, didn't I? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. So I'm just going to keep mixing colours together here till I find something that I like, okay? Because that is how you create your own little wash. And there we go. That works. Okay, so what I want to do here, I'm just going to move this off to the side, is I'm going to add some splatters of colour to my layout. So I know that... It's going to sit about here. So I want my swash of colour up in this area here. So I'm just going to finger tap on some colour. Like so. And I'm going to pop some down on this side as well. And then while it is wet, with a wet paintbrush... Oh gosh, I love the way that this um, foundations paper holds the colour. So with a wet paintbrush, with almost no colour on it at all, I'm going to just add some more splatters and puddle it out a little. I'm not creating any brush strokes. I'm being quite generous with the water. But what's happening is that is it's creating a really lovely wash. Okay, so... This is where this foundations paper comes into its own and does something amazing. It holds it a little differently to what uh, the like watercolor would do. And I'm just gonna heat set that before it moves. Just chat amongst yourselves. Go and put the kettle on. Kiss your husband. Yeah, go and admire my Tim Holtz liked Instagram photo. If you're looking for my Instagram name, it's Happy Dax. H-A-P-P-Y-D-A-K-S. And the reason is, that's what we used to call Jessica when she was a cute little baby. Back in the day. She's not cute anymore because she's 17. I want to add a little bit of blue to this as well, but I wanted to make sure majority of the water was taken out or taken off the page so that I didn't make a new colour. Okay, so I can do that just by using my paper towel to dab it off. Um, so adding a little bit of, what did I say, blue? Blue, I'm going to, I might go with like a blue-grey. That might be a bit nicer. Gosh, I'm running out of clean spots on my palette. Hang on. There's some up there. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that blue with it. But this is what you use your palette for. It's for doing, you know, making up a new colour so that you can get something that suits your project, okay? So this particular little shade here of like a blue-grey, almost violet colour, there's nothing on my... Um, palette the color that I need so like I said you just got to make it up and get it to suit okay ba, ba, ba. and now I'm just going to swap that up a little bit pop that aside to dry so that's the um, super gorgeous ultra new um, paint watercolor collection um, my current go-to paints and on the front here I've just done a little swatch so I can see what the colours look like. Handy tip. Okay, I'm just going to quickly heat set that. And I've just noticed, so I've just popped in that piece of paper over the top. 
and it's probably not showing up on camera very well but this has got more of a coral feel to it and I'm looking at it going maybe I need to add a little bit of coral to my background so this is all about that trial and error sort of color mixing and absolutely I do need to do that so I've just grabbed the coral in my paints and on my uh, mat in the background here I'm just going to add in a few splatters of that for balance that's better now we're talking now put it down knowing when to stop is important too guys and I should have stopped about three flicks ago that's okay So for those of you just tuning in, um, today on my website, which is nataliemay.com.au, you will find all papers at 15% off. So what that means is you can purchase paper pads and collections in all sizes for 15% uh, off and they will be automatically calculated at the checkout. We will be posting all of our orders on Monday and Tuesday and arranging couriers for the local ladies etc etc so um, you can order throughout the weekend and build on your order with the no judgment option option of um, one cent where you can uh, just pay postage once and then add on after that so the no the, the, the add-on order thing we've been doing for over a year now and uh, to look after you you saw it here first ladies <laughs> All right, so I like that, but I think that this bit's a bit wide, so I'm just going to brutally scissor it and then rough up the edge of it again with the side of my scissors. And then you can either use foam tape to stick it down. Uh, here at Natalie May Head Office, we have a little cardboard issue. So we continually get lots of um, orders from overseas and customer orders. Yes, Annie, I do post to New Zealand. It's $25 to post to New Zealand, but I'll come back on that in a minute. So we use cardboard. I like to upcycle and use cardboard to, um, to stick on, to use as foam tape. Um, okay, so... Uh, back to the shipping. So yes, with New Zealand orders, what we do is we do ship direct to New Zealand. It is $25 at the checkout for shipping to New Zealand. What we will do is if your order comes in way over $25, I will give you a little uh, message and say, hi, it has actually come in at whatever, whatever $55 and just flick you through a invoice for the balance. Um, just to let you know, so yeah, we try and get it as close to $25 as we can, but if it is significantly over $25, then uh, of course I will be in contact with you and we'll have a bit of a chat about coming up or I'll give you an option for express shipping as well. So um, I, do have, I do have a few um, lovely local New Zealand Kiwi Kiwi ladies who purchase from me on a regular basis and they uh, quite often upgrade to express shipping because it gets there, you know, within 30 days instead of however long. Um, look, Annie, it really depends uh, on, on what part of New Zealand you're going to. Annie's just asked the question, what sort of weight is for $25? Um no idea it like I said, it really depends on what part of um, New Zealand but of course if you're going to order seven paper packs then that's going to be a little bit more so as you can see I've built up the height of my piece of paper here and I'm going to pop that down I don't know there looks good so following my page map design here now I'm starting to add a little dimension with my page by using um, some foam tape. My photograph is going to go here, but I want to pop some patterned paper underneath it because it, it's not standing out as well as I would like. Uh, so we'll go with 
that one. Now with a doing a scrapbook page live on Facebook, it does take a little bit longer. So um, if you're with me for the long haul, I've probably got another 20 minutes of um, creating here because I've got some fussy cutting to do and finishing up the project. But just laying down that base to start with is where all the hard work can come in as well. So I just popped a piece of cardboard on the back. Now I'm going to take this gorgeous rose paper called Very Pleasant. This Very Pleasant paper. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go something like that. And I'm going to be a little brutal here instead of grabbing my trimmer again. And I'm just going to grab my scissors and go like that. Gorgeous is this paper though. Loving it. My paper, my, my, I've still got wet watercolours on the background here, but I'm going to, um, you know, just commit to it and stick it down anyway. So I'm just cutting a piece of cardboard to sit in this section because the um, paper is gonna sit up a little bit higher. So it's just about giving that bit of dimension and making sure that everything sits up around the same sort of level. Um, the, oh, what is this? This particular paper pack that I'm using is called Unexpected by AB Studios. Um, you'll find it under AB Studios in the side menu on the website. There are some other absolutely gorgeous packs that came in. The AB Studios paper is just lovely. It rocks my world because it is so super pretty. Bam. Is it straight? Yes. And I don't worry about sticking anything down there because I still have to add a cluster of something up here and I need to add some embellishments. So they will come with my little houses. So I've got some super cute little houses here. I'm gonna cut out these ones. So I want one, two, I want these two houses because they're blue. I want this house here because it is pink. And I want this one here because it is also this nice pink color. Right, and I need one more because that's one, two, three, four. Can't have four things. Need to have an odd number. So I'm gonna grab this green one for a fifth. Now, I need to think about my cluster. I wanna have a cluster up the top here of something for an embellishment, okay? So my buildings are gonna sit in and around the page. Not too sure where yet, but I'm just obsessed with them. I have to have them. Uh, so looking at the rest of my pattern papers, what can I make as my cluster here for my title to sit on? Um, going with the floral theme that we have here, I do love, I love the doors, but the doors don't really work. The butterflies, I can use those on something else a little later. I could cut out those flowers, but that's a lot. Uh, I'm thinking I wanna cut out something like this here. I think that that will work. So there we go. All right, so while I'm cutting these out, if you have any questions, type them in and I will be able to watch the screen and answer any questions at the same time. 
What's that rain again out there? Oh my gosh. Lovely sunny day in Radelaide. Said no one ever. I was gonna do it, might just, mm, okay. So when I cut out, I just keep it nice and simple. Move my paper and they're flowers. They don't have to be perfect. And I can cut the leaves off because if you cut them off, nobody really knew that they were there, were they? Um, what else? So this afternoon uh, at 1.30, I'm going to be doing another online uh, live Facebook and I'm going to be making some cards with washi tape. Washi tape is something that most of us have in our stash. So I'm going to show you how to make some really lovely simple cards using washi tape. Um, whoops, can't see the comments, they've disappeared. So, okay, the Instagram, I said I have a page on. Let me write that down on a piece of paper because it's a bit weird. But I'll tell you why in a minute. It's a bit weird. Hang on. Instagram is at H-A-P-P-Y-D-A-K-S. Okay. So uh, my Instagram is Happy Dax. When I've, I've been on um, social media for a couple of years, we'll say. Uh, my back in 2007 or eight, I started my blog. And my blog is also called Happy Dax. Um, and we, I was looking for a name for my blog back then and we, um, I was looking for a, a, a name for my blog and I used to call, back then we called Jessica, our, our daughter, Happy Dax. So the blog was called, we call her Happy Dax. And when Instagram first started and Facebook, etc., I used Happy Dax then as my um, Instagram handle and my social media handle. So that is where I have kept that all the way along. Um, now, question has just another question has been asked. Um, Amanda, you put an order in this morning for a pickup. When should I come and collect? Collect not today, babes. Um, <laughs> you you will be contacted. The local ladies will be contacted when their order is ready for collection. Um, realistically, it will be Tuesday or Wednesday. We have quite a few orders to pack and get um, get ready for. I'll send you a text. Yeah, a text message. You will get a text message from Louise, um, she's just said. So you just have to be a little bit patient this week. With the sales, um, putting all of our orders together can be um, a little time consuming. All right, so I've cut that one out. That's going to sit in under there. That little flower, didn't love it, going to cut it off. Uh, some of these little buildings, I want to incorporate those like I mentioned. So I'm just going to quickly cut these out. And the good thing about these, these are lovely straight lines. Uh, so there you go. But this paper is super heavy duty, which is fantastic. Um, so if you jump online to the website, nataliemay.com.au, the, uh, there's a little a, a tab on the side called Daily Deals. You can look there. Um, but make sure you also look in the section that says paper, paper packs and paper collections because there's some, um, some more specials in amongst those. All paper is 15% off for today only. Tomorrow's special is going to be another awesome one. Uh, a different paper is not gonna be on special tomorrow. Hello, Karen Fry, I see you watching. Um, so paper is, yeah, on special until I go to bed tonight. And then tomorrow morning from 8 a.m., the next special will be up and uh, available for you to have a look at. And I'm not going to tell you what that one is because then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Um, but we are definitely going to look after you for sure. 
so the other thing is uh, there are some of you may or may not know if you are into art journaling I have been doing some art journaling classes online and you can find those on Facebook under the tab sorry on my website under the tab of classes and the way that you do a class with me an exclusive class with me if you are not in Adelaide is that you sign up to do the class and I will add you as a friend on Facebook and then you will need to, you'll be added to a private group and you can do the class through a private group on Facebook. So you can go back and watch me film it live like this, like you are today, or you can go back and watch it at your own pace and create. You can pause it. The advantage is, is you can pause it if I'm moving too quickly for you or if you can't find something in your craft studio, in your craft room um, or in your stash, which is, you know, let's be honest, happens a lot to me. Um, so you have that ability to be able to do that. Uh, if like the kit for the class that is happening next weekend, there is a small kit involved and that is included in the class cost and we will post it out to you. I do believe there are about three or four more spots left in the class for next weekend. So you can jump online and um, do those. And it is an art journal page. Uh, if you are into scrapbooking, there are lots of scrapbook kits available and I am always working on more. Hi, Jamie Ramsey. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome. You're just catching kind of the last bit of my... Uh, AB Studios super simple scrapbook page where I'm using a page maps um, map from pagemaps.com to work or to come up with an idea okay so I've just cut out my little houses here off my sheet now I'm going to start putting my cluster together and working in this area okay so I've got some glue here so this is my favorite puzzle glue and I'm just going to pop a little bit on the bottom. I'm not going to overdo it with the glue and I'm certainly not going to tape it edge to edge and I'm going to pop that there. I don't know that I love that leaf. I still have the option to cut it off. Now I'm going to pop in, layer up some houses. And this is just all going to be shuffling around. So I need an embellishment here, an embellishment here, and a title here. So where it's got the lines here on this sketch, that's where you would put your journaling, okay? So journaling is something that a lot of people just don't do. Um, I think that journaling is a super important part of scrapbooking because it's all about memory keeping. It's all about um, keeping memories for your family and telling a story in your pages, okay? So I'm just looking for some other little elements. I'm thinking I might actually pop these guys over here and they're gonna sit with my title. I'm not gonna put my title up the top here. Yes, you have to tell the story. Every project, everything that you create has a story. It has a story behind it. It has a reason for it, for that photo to be taken. So I, I, I can't stress how important that is. Uh, I am a firm believer. Oh, look, there's a lovely little bouquet on here. That paper is just divine. All right, so let's not overthink this. Let's just... <laughs> Show things. All right, I'm just gonna glue these down and be done with it. So I'm gonna start with this one here and I'm going to glue this one direct to the flower, like so. And then I'm going to foam tape the other ones so that they sit up a little bit higher. Um, yeah, correct, future generations. Um, the, the point has just been made by Jamie that future generations are not going to know about your story unless you tell them. So the journaling that's going to go with this photo is going to be about how young and awesome I was at that age because that's what the story is. You know, that's what it's all about. 
Um, even if you don't put it on your page, you can put your journaling on the back of your page so that when you are long gone and dead and buried and, you know, just before the kids throw it all in a mini skip, uh, <laughs> because that will happen, um, you can, they can read about you at age 32 or whatever age I was in that photo. Um, they can read about your story and know, you know, they might be able to see something and go, oh, right, that's what mum's handwriting or that's what Nana's handwriting looks like. Uh, because it, the, the information will be there for them to read because you have added your journaling, okay? Tell your story. I do bang on a lot about it when I teach um, live in person with scrapbook classes because one thing that I, I absolutely adore is my, my um, grandmother's handwriting and she has now passed and I would love it. If I, sh I wish I could have turned it into a font that I could reproduce. I think that it just would have been amazing to have. Um, all right, so almost done. I need some I need a title of this, some, some description. What have I got here? Um, Lou has just given me a pile of thickers and stickers that are available. So I've got the getaway ones, they're too bright. Black. These little ones are quite inexpensive, actually, guys. So make sure you look for um, alphabets on the website and stickers under the embellish embellishments category. These ones are super cheap. Um, simple black can never go wrong. Ooh, that one could work. That's a beautiful pale purple, dusty purple, pink fresh one. That would work really nicely. I've got this white one here um, that you can colour to be anything. There's some great words on there. Black ones. Oh, and then I've got some here. I've got a heritage style one. So there's lots and lots of different options available. Um, I might add a I might add a sentiment off camera. I'll have a look and see what packets I've got open. But my pick would be this um, pink fresh days of splendour because the colour of that is absolutely perfect. So off camera, I'll, I'll crack one of those open and add something to it. Okay, so finishing my page is nothing more. I'm going to off camera cut up some of these butterflies, I think. It could do with a couple of butterflies and another flower down here. But I've been on for an hour now, and no doubt you have got better things to do with your morning than listen to me waffle on on Facebook. Um, do I want to cut one of those up and put down there? No. Cut one of those up. So um, if you jump online today, you will find papers at 15% off for today only. The paper collection, six by six, eight by eight, six by eight and six by six, 12 by 12. They are all on special this weekend. Uh, sorry, just for today, I should say. And if you do the order and want to add to tomorrow's special, you can. I will be back on here in a couple of hours at 1.30 where I'm going to make some cards and I will actually show you the finished layout as well. So um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au and have a bit of a look at the special for the Great International Craft Show and see if there is something there that you need in your life, which I am all but certain there will be. Oh, that works. Uh, I'll a bit of glue on the bottom of that. And jump on to, if you need some inspiration and some help with creating a scrapbook page and you don't know where to start, go to pagemaps.com. I don't have any affiliation with Pagemaps. I just love that this is a really easy way to start to create your scrapbook projects. It helps build the ideas and gives you a base to start with. And I, I think that that's really important if you are struggling and don't quite know what to, you know, where to, what to add on your project next, okay? 
So thanks very much, guys. I hope you're all having a fab fantastic day. And if you keep... Um, oh, what I'll do is I'll photograph this and then as per normal, I will put a um, links to the, all the pro products that I have used in the comments so that you will be able to join, you know, have a look online, um, see how much you need it in your life and add it to your order. Okay, guys, have a fabulous day and I will chat to you all soon.